Dr. Greg says, are the batteries interchangeable? No, they are not. Let me grab my 878 and the battery off the back of the 168, and I will show you what the difference is between the batteries. So give me just a second. If you want to ask some questions, Andy, go for it. I can still hear you. I'll ask you this. So the first question is going to be, um, I know that there's a lot of excitement for the USB-C 868 battery. Has there been any update with any tone sending us some batteries? Yes. They are going to be coming in the same shipment as the 168s. Perfect. That's going to be fantastic because I know there's a lot of people that are super excited to have that USB-C charging capability with their lovely 878s. Wes, in the YouTube chat, this radio is not replacing anything. It is actually its own addition to the Anytone line. It's not replacing the 878 or, you know, anything like that. It's a new addition for uh, people that are just getting started with DMR that don't need all the features with, you know, Bluetooth and GPS and all the APRS features that just want something to get them started that is better quality and better built. Um, so here is the battery off of the um, eight six or excuse me eight seven eight. And oh, um, something new. Uh, the battery latch component is actually on the bottom now. So you pull the tab down. It's spring loaded here. And then push the battery forward or down, and the battery slides right off. And you'll notice that this battery is very different compared to the 878 battery. Uh, this one is the 878 battery, also used on the 878 UV2+, Plus, as well as the 868. This is the D168 battery. Um, you'll notice it's got the cutout right here for uh, the um, bracket for the belt clip um, that comes through on the metal frame now. So no more having your belt clip tied to your battery. So needing to have additional belt clips just to put on your battery and fighting to get the screws lined up. Because that was one of the biggest things I heard from people that just got their radio is, can you send me a replacement screw? Because um, I tried to put my battery belt clip on and the screw kind of catapulted itself off into the air vent. Um, and Oops. I've actually done that, but I actually had a magnet to get the screw back out. So I was lucky. <laughs> um, but this one is a different part number as well uh, for the 878 battery. And we should be getting spares of these batteries in as well. Um, probably what we'll do is carry just the large capacity version. Um, it's only a few um, ounces more than the 1800 milliamp hour battery. So I would think reasonably for people, if they want a spare battery, they're probably going to want the bigger battery anyway. So uh, let me know what you think about us carrying just the bigger battery for a spare battery for the 168. I think it's a good idea, but I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on that. Um, okay, YouTube comment. Can I use the USB cable like a battery eliminator in the vehicle or desk I used while plugged in? Uh, as far as I know, no, because it's meant to charge the battery, not supply power to the radio itself while it's being operated. Um, so that I would say no at this time. Um, but I will check with any tone on that just to get confirmation because um, I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. Um, so the size difference on the batteries, uh, this one is the 20... Oh, okay. Uh, I am stand corrected. It's a 2600 milliamp, not 2500 milliamp hour. 
Um, so 2,600 milliamp hour battery. Well, is that a production model or is that a pre-production? Uh, this is a pre-production uh, model. But I'm guessing it's going to be the same, but I will check with any tone tonight. Um, yep. Because I can't see them taking away battery after they already have a good design for a battery. Taking away 100 milliamp hours. Um, one thing, and let me know if you guys think I should do this. Uh, one thing I was thinking of doing was actually turning the radio on and just leaving it with no signal coming into it and setting a timer and seeing how long it takes for the battery to die basically on standby. So I can get you guys a standby, a realistic standby time on the 2600 milliamp hours on the 168. Um, so it's a 2600 milliamp hour battery and a 1800 milliamp hour battery for the 168. Um, let's see here. Uh, Jeff, that is a really good question. I don't know if it fast charges based on using the power delivery subsystem for USB-C or not. Well, the a great um, way to find out is, um, is when I get, when I get a demo model, um, I've got some testers that'll tell me if it's triggering PD or not. So that later can be uh, found out yep give me one second guys um andy go ahead and ask questions or look for questions in the comments here uh i am all but right no, I'm, I'm very excited to get my hands on this uh, on this 168 um i'm uh, i'm hoping maybe it'll it'll be uh, i'm gonna i think i'm probably gonna turn it into an everyday carry for me um on besides the um, 878 and uh, just kind of give it a real world kind of test and maybe possibly we can do a little bit of a review later after yep. um after both of us have been running it for a little bit um real world use i'm going to use it on both the amateur side and the commercial side um and uh, going to see how how it fares um on both sides and how it in and how it uh, stands up to the rigors that I uh, put radios, radios through. through. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm tough on you and your collection. You know I am. Yes, I'm very um, tough. So uh, with that being said, um, it is time to go to the Strictly BC Plus member portion. That so is. everybody on YouTube, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we will have more information about this radio as we get closer to the official uh, shipment coming in and delivery of the radio and estimated delivery times once the shipment comes in so again everybody thank you for being here tonight on yep. uh youtube we really appreciate it and if you want to find out what's going on behind the scenes for just the bc plus members go to bridgecomsystems.com and go to bcu and click on bridgecom plus and you can sign up for either the monthly, the annual, or the lifetime plan right there. And uh, just as a reminder for our BC Plus members, you are getting a $20 discount for the entire month on your uh, purchase of $200 or more. It's already set up in your account. So all you've got to do is go to the website and put your items in the cart. And once you cross that $200 uh, threshold, you will see that $20 discount automatically come off. Oh,